You're not as effective as you could be because you haven't yet found the system that truly works for you. But how do you choose from the countless tools out there to manage your editorial calendar? To organize your content efficiently, you only need three things, a clear strategy, a structured plan, and a steady source of inspiration. What if I told you that you could have all three in one ready to use turnkey template? Check the description for a link to a free version that will help you start planning your content right away. First, start by defining your strategy as a creator. You'll find an easy to use strategy section in the planner's menu bar. This section offers an eight step process for building your strategy. Each step is clearly laid out so you can follow along, checking off each one as you complete it. There's also a strategic form you can fill out to refine your approach before diving into content planning. Before we jump into the content planning phase, be sure to check out the previous video, which gives a full tour of the social media content planner. Among other things, it explains how to navigate the strategy section and use the entire template effectively. In this video, we'll focus on setting up your content strategy for the best possible organization, leveraging Notion's latest features. Now let's look at the hashtag bank, where you can build your SEO strategy. Depending on your social media niche, you can compile a list of relevant keywords here. Simply click the new button to add a keyword. You can track how often each keyword is used through the status column, which gives you insight into your hashtag performance. Next, head over to the content hub to begin planning your post. This page is carefully organized with an inbox section at the top and a quick actions board next to it. You can click on the inbox content line to bring up options for scheduling and organizing your posts. Select your desired publication date and the content type will automatically adjust based on the section you accessed. Then choose one or multiple social media platforms from your configured list. Just below, you'll find the daily highlights section, which shows you what's scheduled for that day. This is a quick way to stay on top of your publishing schedule. Just open Notion and check this section to see what's next. Below that is the weekly post section, which lets you manage your weekly content. Access any post from here and open the checkpoint tracker to verify its readiness before changing its status to ready to be published. Just click new at the bottom of the database to start tracking each post's progress. Moving on, the ready to be published this week section shows posts that are all set for the week. As you update the checkpoint tracker, your posts will move to this section and you can adjust their status as needed. Below this, the monthly overview provides a complete view of your scheduled content along with each post status. If you need to unpublish a post, you can mark it here and move it to the unpublished post section below. This section allows you to review any content that wasn't posted, helping you analyze your content flow and make adjustments to your strategy. Following that, you'll find the archive page, which keeps a record of all aspects of your content flow, including campaigns, brand deals, and resources. Let's go back to a post we previously created in the inbox. Move it from its current status to in creation, then open it to add one or more images. With the hashtag box set up, you can now add relevant hashtags to each post. Below that, use the checkbox tracker to mark each step, ensuring your post is fully prepared before publishing. By logging the likes, comments, and views once the post goes live, you can measure engagement. Notion will automatically calculate total engagement for each social media platform based on this data, providing valuable insights for your content performance.
To wrap things up, nothing would be possible without a source of inspiration. Head over to the Ideas section, where you'll find a dedicated space to gather and organize your inspirations. At the top of the page, you'll see posts you've marked as ideas, which you can edit directly from this page. Just below, you'll have the option to add resources in various formats. Once you've created a new page by clicking the appropriate button, you can choose from six pre-configured templates. Don't forget to add an image to illustrate the resource. It will appear on your dashboard. You can also assign an author to the resource if they've already been added, or simply write their name directly. Select one or multiple themes to categorize your resource, making it easier to find later. On the left side of the dashboard, you'll find a themed menu that lets you quickly access resources by category.